I spoke to Joey after it happened. He was uh, in hospital and he was just resting up and then he just had surgery yesterday. So he, he um, yeah, he sent through a photo. It looked pretty uh, banged up, but he's, he's all recovered and um, I think he should be back with us tonight sometime. So um, yeah, he's, he's recovering and he's, he's all good. It was um, tough to read. I think at the time it was sort of, no one really saw it in play and then we sort of just continued playing and then um, when we sort of saw the replay, we noticed that there was contact with the head. So uh, the referee sort of said straight away that he's going to get sent to the bin. Um, and I probably could have, yeah, suggested send off, send off. I mean, it was all sort of happening pretty quick and I was just making sure Joe was all right. And then Joe became pretty frustrated as well with it all because he probably realised how bad it was. So it all sort of happened really quick. And when looking back, it would have been, yeah, um, yeah, it was just sort of, it was a bit of a push and shove. And, he got tin bin, so I don't know, that's, it was all happening pretty quick. You know, Troy, I don't think we'd do it on purpose, but it's just it's forceful contact to, to the head, so it's, whether it's accident or, or not, it's still, it's, if it causes someone to break you know, a fair amount of bones in his face, it must be pretty, uh, pretty forceful and into the head, so I know, like, you just can't do that. If it's, yeah, you just can't. I love the Troy, I love playing with the Troy, he's a fiery. Play and he plays the game um, in that manner. He wants to be be dominant, so I just you just got to be careful, I guess, because he's got in trouble with it before making contact with the head, and, he's, and it's happened again. So it's I guess you just got to learn the lessons from that. He, he plays with fire and passion. That's what makes him um, such a great player. But I guess there's just find that balance of um, yeah, not overstepping the line, and you know I don't think you don't want to be breaking people's faces. So I think he just has to just to find that that balance and. Again, it's, it, it sucks for him because he knows he misses out in the rest of the year, so I'm sure he didn't want that either. So, yeah, it's just about finding a balance for him. But again, that fire that fire that he plays with makes him such a great player too. Again, I, I, don't, I have no idea how long the recovery um, is. or I mean, I'm not sure how many actual bones that you break there, but, um, yeah, fingers crossed made the grand final. It'd be, it'd be good to go, but that's, um, that's fingers crossed, yeah. It's huge. We've always been um, the backbone of us, you know, leading us guys who have been through a lot of adversity, I guess, and a lot of injuries and setbacks. Robbo's um, just stuck solid and um, he's instilled the belief in our team and our, our club that doesn't matter what happens, we can get the job done and, and win games. It's obviously disappointing the, the end result and I think yeah, there was obviously a few frustrating parts about it and I think it's good for Robbo to, to speak his mind and... Um, I mean, I think he'll probably get fined, I think, but um, yeah, it's good for him. I think a lot of people found it a positive that he was able to speak his mind and um, let him know what he thought.